Hey guys, I'm CHS38 here, and I'm going to show you how to easily uh, shade with um, Paint.net and with the uh, uh, Gaussian Blur. Um, so you're going to want to create a new layer. Uh, I'm using just a generic card that I kind of edited. Um, the base is red. You can use any uh, color for this. This is red uh, as our base. Um, so like I said create a new layer and we're gonna use a darker shade and we're gonna take a not so not so thick but not too thin um, line and we're gonna basically go around the rims because what I wanna do uh, is give it a rim shade and then an underbody shade and then we'll give it a side door highlight uh, so we'll start out with the rims here and this will give it a kind of an out, outer line type uh, type uh, thing to it um, you can do a highlight or a shade, it doesn't really matter. It depends on how you want the car to look, really. Uh, so now we'll work on the uh, side of the body where the door comes out. Um, and we'll do a little bit of the bumper. Uh, and then we'll uh, start the effect. So you want to go into blurs and do the Gaussian blur right there. And the radius basically is the intensity. It's the, the higher the radius, the more spread out it'll get, the more uh, transparent it'll get. Uh, we'll do it at about that. Now we'll create a new layer and do the underbody. So we'll make our thickness a little bit bigger and we'll use the line tool and just go along uh, the bottom of the car and we'll go back into the blurs and do the same thing but uh, we don't want it that intense so we'll get it a little lighter right about there and that'll give you your underbody uh, curvy car type look. Now you can go ahead and erase the outlines. You don't have to yet if you're not done shading, but we're done uh, shading uh, basically. Next, we'll go on to the highlights. So now we'll go to the highlights, so we'll uh, reverse the colors right there. We'll give it a pretty thick highlight to give it more of a thick uh, outline. So we'll just draw it right across there like that. Go to effects, use the Gaussian blur again, and it gives you a kind of light looking uh, like it's sticking out at you more. Just about there. Click OK. And there you have it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. And have fun.